Hey there, it's Kim, your chic geek from yourchicgeek.com and I wanted to bring you this quick video tutorial to show you how to start a blog in 10 minutes or less, okay? So three things that you're gonna need is, first off, you're gonna need a domain name. Your domain name is going to be what tells people where to go to access your site. You're also gonna need web hosting, which is the company that you're gonna use to actually put your site out there on the internet and then you're going to need a theme. Um, in this tutorial, I am going to be installing or using WordPress as the platform to get a site set up or a blog set up. And so let's go ahead and get off into this. So again, uh, usually whenever you're picking a web hosting company or a platform, um, they usually do allow you to use to get one domain name from them for free. And so that is what I would advise for you to do. Now I use SiteGround and um, it's because the support is just phenomenal. Um, they have 24 by 7 live support. So anytime you have problems with your site and etc There's somebody that's always there to answer your questions the my, my WordPress sites run really really fast Which I love and so those are just the main reasons that I've used them now I was using HostGator prior to switching over to SiteGround, but <laughs> HostGator I just had too many issues, you know, it's too much downtime um, It's too many problems and so I switched to SiteGround and I've never been happier so once you get over to um, to the site, to site ground. Um, you can actually click the link below to head over to the site. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is you wanna go to under where it says web hosting, craft it with care. Let's go to quick to see the different plans that they have available. And I'm gonna go through these really quickly. So if you're planning to host just one site, meaning that you know you don't want to build any other websites and all that kind of stuff, then the startup plan is going to be where you want to start. Okay, it's $3.95 a month. If you're planning to host multiple sites, then you definitely want to use either the Grow Big or the Go Geek plans, okay? So it's just something that I wanted to mention. Now, after you sign up for your web hosting account with SiteGround, um, they're gonna send you an email with your login credentials and all that kind of stuff, okay? So what you're gonna need to do is, once you get that email, is to is type your username here and the password that you set that's associated with your account to log in to the background of your, or the back end of your site ground, uh, the site ground dashboard, okay? So once you get here, what you wanna do is go over to my accounts, and then you're gonna go down to the domain name that you're uh, working with, and then you're gonna click manage account, okay? And then we're gonna go to click on go to C panel because this is where we do all of the installations and all that good stuff from. All right, so once we're in the background or the back end of the C panel, we're gonna go to where it says auto installers and we wanna click WordPress, okay? It does, et cetera, et cetera. So the next thing you want to do is click install. All right, so under software setup, you're gonna see where it has the protocol which you wanna leave at HTTP and then it's gonna ask you to choose the domain that you want WordPress installed on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the domain that I want WordPress installed on. And then I'm gonna leave the site settings as default. Now here is really important for your admin name. I usually tell my students that have taken my blog like a champ course to do something with like a, a dash in between it to make it you know tough for hackers and people to kind of figure out what the admin name is because that's one of the um, that's one of the, the kind of the drawbacks to WordPress is that if you leave the admin username at admin as default, your site is going to get hacked. And so you don't want to do that. All right. So the next thing that you can do is under admin password, you can either leave the site the same or leave the password the same, or you can change it to something that is, you know, that you can remember. Okay. Now I would recommend that you change it to something that's strong so that it won't, it'll make it tough for people to break in into the back end of your site. And so another thing that I would also recommend is to open up Notepad and then copy and paste the password of your WordPress site to, to put it somewhere because you're gonna need that to log in to the back end of the site. Now for the admin email, I typically use an email that I know that I have access to all of the time. And so that's gonna be my Gmail account. And then I would recommend under select plugins, enabling limit logins, because this kind of protects the site from getting hacked, okay? Whenever somebody's trying to log in 
or do something squirrely, you'll get an email notification to the email that you assign as your admin email saying that somebody is, is trying to hack into the site, okay? So that's really great to have. And then under choose theme, we want to leave that as none because we're going to install our own theme. And then the next thing you want to do is click install to install WordPress onto this domain. It's going to take a few minutes, all that good stuff. All right, so it looks like it's almost done. Awesome, so this is exactly what you wanna see. Um, it's going to give you this message saying, congratulations, the software has been installed successfully, and then where you can go to access your WordPress site. Now, this is really important and something that you have to remember. Whenever you want to um, do it, log in to the back end of your WordPress blog, you're always going to need to, to do that or to get to that using you know, HTTP, your domain name, .net or .com, backslash WP admin, okay? So let's click on this to get into the back end of the blog, which is great. This is where we want to be. All right, so we're logged in to the back end of the WordPress blog, and now we're gonna go ahead and install the theme or a theme. Now, for this demo, the theme that I'm going to be using is called the Chanel theme. You can actually click below to click to head over to Creative Market to get this theme. And uh, what you want to do is after you purchase this theme, it's only $29 and it's pretty easy to set up and install. And so what you want to do is once you purchase the theme, you want to click download now. And the theme is going to start downloading. Okay. So awesome, so it looks like it's finished. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna extract this theme to my desktop. Okay, yes to all, awesome. So it has been extracted to my desktop. Let me close this out. All right, so the next thing that I wanna do is I'm going to, and my desktop is a little messy, forgive me, but hey, <laughs> it, it just is what it is. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to find the theme. Let's see here, it should say Chanel or WordPress or something. Okay. Okay, here it must be in my, I think it's in the downloads. Ah, so it's in the downloads folder. For some reason it didn't extract, but that's, that's fine. So here it is, I'm just gonna drag it over to my desktop and that's fine. Okay, so this is what you want. You want to drag this over, uh, these files over to your desktop. The next thing you want to do is to double click to open this up. And then we're going to open up this folder again. And then we want to take where it says Chanel.zip. This is the actual thing that we want to install in the back end of WordPress. So the back, of our, back end of our WordPress blog. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this to the desktop. Because anything that you install, you have to remember this, anything that you install for WordPress, it has to be a zip file, okay? It has to be. All right, so let's go ahead and pop back over to the back end of the blog. And to get this theme installed, we're going to go to Appearance, and we're going to click on Themes. We're going to click Add New. And then we're going to click Upload Theme. Now under Upload Theme, we're going to click Choose File. And then we're gonna to navigate to find the Chanel theme. This is the one that we want. We don't want this one because this is the folder that this actual entire theme um, came, you know, came to us or was delivered to us, was delivered to us. This is the way it was delivered. So let's click to select Chanel. Let's click open and then let's click install now. All right, great. As you can see, it says it unpacked the package, it installed the theme and the theme is installed successfully. So the next thing that we want to do to make this theme live is we want to click activate. Awesome. Okay. So here is what the theme looks like live. So I'm going to click on my blog and then I'm going to click to visit site. Now, this is basically what, what you do. <laughs> this is how to get this going. As you can see, the site is a little bit, you know, it's a little plain here, but you can easily go in here to dress things up. Um, you can actually put a new logo here, a nice text logo, or even a, gra a graphic logo. 
Uh, you can actually dress up your sidebar, add in pictures, and add your brand. Just add your brand spin to this. But this pretty much wraps up the conclusion on how to start a blog. So we've installed WordPress, we have found a theme, we've uploaded the theme, and that's pretty much it. So from here, you can take this, dress this baby up the way you want it, beautify it, all that good stuff. But this is, this is essentially what you do to get started. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more about me and my blog, you can definitely head on over to yourchicgeek.com and check out some of the posts that I have there and even some of the uh, courses that I have in my mini university that can help you level up some of the skills maybe that you want to have in your business. And so if you have any questions for me, you can definitely always feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at your chic geek 81 that is where i'm most active and so again i hope you've enjoyed this and i'd love for you to share this with your peeps and friends okay cheers see ya